Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan and in this episode I want to consider exactly what Hamza Yousaf said in his resignation speech earlier on today. Now as people often ask how you can help the channel, well you can subscribe or become a member but if you just simply hit the thumbs up down towards the bottom of the screen in each video that would help tremendously, thank you. So what's this all about? What Hamza said today, and I've listened to it three or four times to try and get into my own head exactly what he said, and I'm still unclear, because he did say that he had notified the SNP party to look for a new leader, and he would remain in position until they were able to find one. Now, that can mean one of two things, because... Up until 1 minute to 12 today, Hamza Yousaf held two jobs. He was a leader of the SNP and he was the First Minister of Scotland. Both are normally the same thing, but as history has already proven, can be two separate things. And what I need clarity on is, has he stepped down as a First Minister with immediate effect and he's holding on as a party leader until the SNP find a new leader, or, my fear, he is going to hold on to being the First Minister until the SNP find a new leader, who they would then propose to Holyrood as being the First Minister, because it's not um, a guaranteed sure that whoever is the SNP leader automatically becomes the, SM, sorry, the First Minister of Scotland. And the reason for that is the SNP no longer hold their majority. They did when Hamza was elected as the leader of SNP and therefore it was an automatic shoe and that he would become the First Minister. That is not the case just now. Now why is this such a big thing to me? I'll explain that now. As it stands, there is a motion in place to call a vote of no confidence for the First Minister of Scotland. Now, if he hasn't stood down from that position as of today, then I hope that the Scottish Tory party keep in place the motion of no confidence put forward by Douglas Ross. Because if they remove it, it could take a month, it could take six weeks, it could take whatever length of time the SNP wish it to take to find a new leader, and then we would have to present them for election. It would take away the option of the Scottish people having an election if the SNP's candidate for First Minister is not accepted by Parliament. And is not, that is not guaranteed. So what could be happening here is Humza gives his party a month or two to find a leader. He would then put that person in place that person would then need to stand for election basically to the whole of the parliament and gain a, a, a majority to enable them to be first minister. If that didn't happen, the SNP would then, from that point in time, which could be months in the, in the future, have the opportunity of 28 days to find a suitable person. I don't like that. I would like to know today if Hamza has stood down as First Minister with immediate effect, or he's playing politics. And by the by in time for the SNP, not only to find a new leader, but then he would step down and then he would have 28 days. The 28-day clock would start from some time in the future, possibly a month or two. So what is the truth? What is going on? I don't know. I suppose we could wait until tomorrow or whenever next day Parliament sit to find out if he is still the First Minister, or somebody could ask them just now. I would quite like it to be someone to ask them right now, because I'm quite sure that Douglas Ross knew fine well when he put the motion in place for the First Minister's um, vote of confidence, that the consequences of that, should they fail, would be to start a process which could lead to an election. If that's the case, if 
Hamza has not stood down today as a First Minister, I would expect the Scottish Conservatives to continue with their call for a vote of no confidence on the First Minister, because to do otherwise, I believe, would be playing right into the hands of the Scottish National Party. I'm not 100% sure what he said today, but I'm veering towards the fact that he thinks he can stay as First Minister for as long as he wants. I'm sure that's what he meant. Because he did say there was lots of business to be done in Parliament and he would need a First Minister to do so. So that would suggest to me that he has not st stood down today as a First Minister of Scotland and is merely showboating and fan dancing as is normal with politicians. So, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I think when Parliament is open again, Hamza Yousaf will still be the First Minister, and I think he's done it so that, in the hope that the Tories will pull down their motion, and that would buy time for the Scottish National Party to find a suitable leader who could potentially satisfy the demands of either Alba or the Greens, we would then vote along with the SNP for the nominations of the new and next First Minister and they would remain in power. I would prefer that not to happen. Me and probably tens of millions, tens of millions, tens of thousands like me would prefer Route A and lead, it gives a better chance of leading to an election for the Scottish Parliament. So Hamza, the country celebrated for two or three hours. But the realisation is, I don't believe you've stood down from today. I believe you're saying you're going to stand down whenever your party can find A, a leader, which will take weeks, or B, until they find a candidate that will satisfy the demands of at least one other party in Parliament. So you guys can remain in power. So see all this nonsense, what was it you said? You'll not trade your principles to stay in power. I think you've just shown your principles in front of the world's media today in Butte House. And what you appear to be saying is nothing like the reality of what you're actually saying. Prove me wrong. Just be clear. Make it, make it clear to everybody because I think the vast majority of the Scottish population think you've stood down as the First Minister with immediate effect. And I do not believe that to be so. You're going to stand there for a few weeks, maybe a month or two even, until your party puts some process in place to find your leadership replacement. And then and only then will they be presented to Scottish Parliament to replace you. Now, if you've not officially resigned from First Minister at that point, then could you just remain? I don't know. Constitutional law and process is not my specialist subject, although I do deal in common sense and logic. I think you're trying it on. So, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If not, <laughs> why are you here? You've lasted to the end. If you've not already done so, please subscribe. But most importantly of all, unless you're Hamza, spin doctors, his party, or what's left of their cult following. Everyone else, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.